Is it recording? Yes, it is. Hi, guys. How are you? Hope you're well. Hope you've enjoyed your Tuesday. Now that time, it's Tuesday evening. It's the full moon. How has it been treating you? Have you done your releasing? Are you going to do your releasing? What are you releasing? Well, that's private to you, isn't it? So don't, don't answer that question. But just keep it in mind, you know, everything you want to come in, you have to release some stuff, okay? So that could be an emotion, that could be a situation, a reoccurring pattern that you don't want anymore. It's all coming in. It was all releasing even, not coming in. Right, so let's see now. So this is your general tarot reading, no fixed sign, no fixed subject. You're the fixed person. The first card may relate to you the most because it's in the now position. That's why it's the strongest energy. And then let's see how it goes, okay? So I'm just going to shuffle the cards and I'm just going to see what is coming up. shuffle them and let's see what is coming in oh they're all jumping all over the place so now i'm going to cut these and i'm just going to see what is coming in i do not know what is at the top of the deck there so i'm going to read that afterwards and we're going to ask the universe for it to link to relate somehow uh, to the reading i'm about to do for you gosh my hair guys look at it bit wrestled in it Right, so let's see. So let's begin and ask now for guidance. Let's see what the first card is for you. I'm sorry, guys, I've just got to have to shuffle myself around here. Right, and see what is coming in. So let's begin. What is coming up for my questioners? The first card. Oh, they're all flying out. So that was me. The amount of my shuffling there. What is the universe wanting to say to you? So the first card from, this has come up again. So this flipped up a minute ago and now it's flipped up again. And I like it. It's the Ace of Swords. Look at that. Excellent position for you to be in. With all this releasing that you're doing, it's leading to an Ace energy. Brand new phase. Whatever Ace it is, it's always a good sign. This is about how you're thinking about things. This is about how you're going to articulate yourself. This is about how you're going to move forward smart, not necessarily from a reaction. You could have done before so many times, looked at a scenario without the full facts and made up your own solutions and then be triggered by it. But this is different. So this is coming up with the Ace of Swords to say, well, I don't have all the facts or I have all the facts within me about how I want to move forward and this is it, okay? So this could be you wanting to study something new. This could be you taking a fresh look um, at what you've got in front of you and maneuvering your way in ways which you haven't done before, okay? Because this is showing from cloudy thinking is clarity. It's always that balance. Cloudy thinking can be for months and months and months, even years. Uh, but all of a sudden, or maybe not all of a sudden, um, you get this kind of, sometimes it's an offering, uh, but because it's in your position, it's not necessarily an offering coming to you. Uh, but what it is saying is your karmic cycle is entering to a new one. Karmic cycles can last a long time, guys. And until we learn that lesson, whatever that karmic cycle is, we will keep repeating that pattern. So the fact that the Ace of Swords has come up is showing a new pattern is coming in within you, not externally, within you, and you're gonna to start to see life through new eyes, so to speak, especially the third eye, which is all about your intuition. Um, put yourself in the violet flame if you need to, to protect yourself. If you're in a situation where you're surrounded by negative energies, negative people, negative situations, put yourself in a violet flame first thing in the morning, literally visualize a violet flame, and then whatever happens throughout the day, any negativity will just be bounced off that violet flame. So you're you're going you're keeping your energy. It's almost like charging that battery. It's going to stay full. Okay. So excellent card to have. Um, I feel a lot of you are not giving into your ego anymore. We all have one, guys. Um, and it's just showing that some things are just falling away naturally. Um, but this is internally, not externally, at the moment. Okay. So let's see now where this is bringing us. So from an external, a major. Now notice how. When we enter into a new phase, whatever that is, it's really a minor uh, that follows this. I mean, it is quite a few times, but more often than not, it's a major. And you, you've got the temperance. You see how she's filling from her own cup there? This is reflective of you changing, okay? So when we start to change, 
the universe and our situations and our outlook starts to change quite a lot also okay there is a bit of a patience game guys with uh, whatever is happening from an external situation um there is going to be some changes that you're going to be experiencing these aren't dramatic huge changes but they're kind of uh so it's paramount really to your soul growth um and it's it's putting one foot in i mean she's literally got one foot in the water there which is your emotional side your spiritual side and she's staying kind of put in one side also so this is why i said it's not dramatic changes they're just moving forwards in the right direction pouring from your own cup when you start to love yourself when you start to put yourself on your own kind of kingdom of truth put yourself in your own kingdom of truth then the universe will meet you in that kingdom and good things will come from that okay but when we have any transition when we try and reprogram ourselves on a positive level one meditation isn't going to do it two meditations isn't going to do it but getting into the habit of going within will always lead to this brand new phase okay and this is why it's taking a little bit of time for the temperance to come in for you but it's kind of like a peaceful stream at the moment where you can hear the birds where you can hear the sound of the water it's not like i need to get out of here sort of thing okay um some of you might also sense that you've kind of tuned into your angels a lot more your guardians so a lot of you might be seeing signs a lot of you might be just feeling like there's somebody around you but you can't quite place who or when or why um it's just a knowing and this is great because it shows that your expansion of your spirit knowledge is coming up trumps basically and it's just it's almost like you know when you have a light and you can turn it and then the light will go brighter and it will fill more of the room that's equivalent to this these two cards here okay so that will be different for each and every one of you because you're going through different things uh, but the awareness of yourself is really strong so far let's see what else is coming in because now we've got the ten of swords ending of a phase now don't be dismayed by that image there ending of a phase that's all this is guys it's not anything that's going to knock you sideways you know people look at the ten of swords and think oh my gosh what's ending but it doesn't actually have to be a physical thing it doesn't have to be the end of a relationship sometimes what this can mean if you are in a relationship that you're not too sure about the ace of swords is you speaking your truth speaking um, about how you want things to be how you don't want things to be because history has repeated itself too much and you've got to a point where you can't do it anymore um, and that leads to the ending of a cycle so whether or not things change within that relationship for the better or the relationship relationship ends for whatever reason um but there's just an ending of something within you uh that is basically quite calming and peaceful even though the image doesn't see that here but look at the horizon it's beautiful there's still light there and that is showing light at the end of your horizon okay so there is a horizon basically so this isn't like okay well that's it now that's fun while it lasted it's not that at all so there is something coming in and maybe what you're releasing maybe what you're writing down and burning whatever that is is figurative of this because the ten of swords can mean what was done is done and there's so much more to look forward to but let's see let's see what is underneath the ace of swords can we ask now what is underneath the ace of swords because you have a, you are now a major you are the empress she ain't no one's fool she knows her worth and when i say she if you're a guy watching this this is you as well it's just the energy because just at the bottom of the deck there, you've got the Eight of Swords, which is the captivated energy of feeling restricted. But the fact that it's at the bottom there, maybe that's just what you need uh, to look at within yourselves. You know, you're, you're not as restri restricted as what you think. And I've just seen the Three of Swords there, which is really, really interesting because there seems to be a deflated energy of something you've experienced, an expectation perhaps, and it hasn't quite worked out the way that you thought. So now with you being the Ace of Swords, you are going into this with new eyes, um, accepting maybe there's going to be some endings if it hasn't happened already. But we some things have to end in order for all this new opportunity to come in. And when you are then being the Empress, this is such a great um, future position because she's ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. Love is the highest frequency. We don't always feel it, guys. I understand. We don't always think, oh, I'm so full of love today. Sometimes we can be full of anger, resentment. But that's a process that we need to address and move on from that. Um, but the Empress is really kind of nurturing your ideas your and your visions so because she's pregnant it's figurative of what would you nurture um you wouldn't not look after yourself if you were pregnant you would get the right foods you would get enough sleep and that's exactly what this is saying to you 
Act like you are nurturing something beautiful within you. That's your soul. That's your karma. That's your path. And when you look after yourself, this is a uh, sign from you to the universe to say, I am worthy. And when you say, I am worthy, you raise your vibration and the universe has no option but to meet you there, okay? Everything is a frequency. Everything is a vibration, okay? Um, we are dots in space. Now, space obviously is infinite it has no end well, not that we know any of anyway um and everything is a vibration in space the planets don't go oh where am i going to go now am i traveling in the right direction they just know they don't they're conscious enough to know that they don't have to think now exactly the same for the empress energy obviously think like obviously don't not think but don't go too much in your mind here go into the feels of how things feel for you okay i feel a lot of you are going back to uh Certain family members, you could be moving closer to family, family could be coming to you, um, but there just seems to be a change in how you view things, okay? There could have been a talk within the family um, that's cleared a lot of things up, um, and that won't fit for everybody, but this is coming in quite nicely. Um, but it's staying grounded within your own soul, within your own being, um, and it all starts with the ace, which is really, really good. So let's see now what is underneath the temperance. What is coming in from an external influence? What is coming in underneath the temperance card? So let's see. Five of cups. She says with a big smile on her face. I mean, I'm, it's not like, guys, it's the five of cups. Look, it's amazing. Because it's my Debbie Downer card, as you know. But you, some of you have outgrown the situation. Some of you have outgrown certain people in your life. This happens when you vibrate at a different frequency. And I feel, you know, with this Ten of Swords, people aren't always going to understand why you don't want to hang out so much or why you might want to leave a certain place or why you just don't want to be where you are right now and you want to move to different past as new and all that sort of stuff. Um, and But that's okay. Not everyone's going to understand and you don't have to make everyone understand. But there just seems to be a bit of lack of understanding from certain people around you um not manipulation like oh you know i'm so sad you can't do this sort of thing but if you're asking about a person this is interesting because i feel that on the surface they might seem like they've got it all together and they are going to their spiritual and logical side but underneath there's a bit of loneliness about them they might be looking back and thinking oh why did this happen why did that happen because it looks like they might see you as somebody who's leveling up and if you were with this person when you were leveling down they might not be able to relate to that so if they want to reach out they might find it a bit more difficult but that is not a reason for you not to keep leveling up with yourself If this isn't about a person, what this would be is taking baby steps into doing something you really want to do. It's going to be a bit daunting, guys. And the natural thing to think about in those moments of what am I doing is, should I be doing this? Should I stay in my comfort zone? It was all right, really. Um, but the two opportunities behind him, he cannot see yet. This is why the universe is saying to have patience with the temperance card. You could be being a mentor for somebody as well, for somebody who's struggling a little bit at the moment as well. Mm. Okay, so let's see what is underneath the Ten of Swords. What is coming up for my questioner? So this is your position underneath the Ten of Swords. That's too many there. What is coming up underneath the Ten of Swords for my question is, what is coming up? So that, okay, the two exact same cards have come up again. So universe, okay, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Um, at the bottom of the deck there, uh, this could be somebody reaching out to you. Maybe this is what the Five of Cups is because now we've got the Six of Cups. So that's consecutive order there. Hmm. What's going on? So you have the Queen of Pentacles and you have the Two of Swords. Unfinished business is here, guys. I'm telling you now. So if you're not speaking to someone, the two of swords can mean 
before you enter into this new karmic cycle with the Ace of Swords, something has to be tied up. Maybe a conversation. Maybe saying how you feel. Maybe them saying how they feel. Maybe that's what that Six of Cups was. And with the Queen of Pentacles coming up here, this is great because this is you. You go from the Empress to the Queen. So you have a lot more stability. You have a lot more grounds on your feet, basically. So wherever you're going, whatever choices you make, you're not going to be in lack, okay? Um, so if you are going for a new job or if you are going for a new whatever, this is a good sign because it shows that you're feeling comfortable. What I do want to say with the Queen of Pentacles, don't go after everything that shines. Not everything that shines is gold. Um, it's like the magpie effect, you know, just go with what feels right for you. Uh, but the fact that the Temperance is bringing it in quite slowly for you gives you time to think about this, that and the other, okay? Um, if the Two of Swords um, is not with about um, unfinished business for somebody, it's... Don't allow that chatterbox mind to convince you not to go for something you've always wanted to do, okay? Because habitual ways of thinking, you'll always see the negative in something and think, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that because, well, this has happened before. Should I stay in my comfort zone? Which is exactly what the Five of Cups is saying. Um, and it's saying, no, 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 because it's almost like there's conflicting energy because these two don't belong next to each other, really. I mean, they're polar opposite. She's really comfortable where she is. She's not so much. She's um, anxious. She's not sure she doesn't know what's around her and she's covering up her heart chakra um so there is a sense of maybe defensiveness coming in here not where you're talking defensively to somebody else but talking to yourself okay um but this is an interesting reading i'm going to get another one um and see uh, what happens after the two swords just um and the queen of pentacles just to see what else is coming in um and this is what came in i think on sunday or monday when i did it the magician the major I feel a lot of you are trying to manifest a specific person back in your life. A lot of you cannot settle because you're not hearing from somebody. I can, I can feel that. But you've got so much opportunity right in front of you here that just know that if somebody is meant to be in your life they will be in your life somehow but it will always be at a point of least resistance when they come back in when you go okay i've got nothing i can't control this situation i'm just going to focus on myself enter once you do that that's what the ten of swords is and then you level up with the empress and if this isn't with somebody that you're questioning about, the magician shows you don't need to be in this situation. You don't need to be in this energy. You're good enough as you are. You're way better than what you think. Don't be down and out about yourself because celebrate yourself a lot more. You've got the experience. You've got the knowledge. What is stopping you? And the great thing about this evening is you can write everything you're worried about down. Read it and see where your mind goes. And you could surprise yourself with, oh my gosh, I didn't even realise that thing was still in my mind. And that thing can gnaw and gnaw and gnaw and create bigger issues than what is actually really on the table. Let's get a clarifier. What is coming in? Um, I did have a cheeky look at the bottom there and you've got the Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new phase with regards to your emotional self, but it's coming in. So it's not here right now. Can you see where this is going? It all starts with the Ace of Swords, your thinking mind, and then the emotional side comes in. We accelerate results with a frequency of feeling, not necessarily with repetitive thoughts, because your body doesn't know that an anxious thought is something you don't want. It's a like or almost like a manifestation. So keep your vibe high. What is coming in as an overall clarifier? Let's have a look. So let's see what is coming in. What's coming in, guys? Let's have a look. So I'm just going to ask the universe now what is coming in as an overall clarifier. Please, might I have an overall clarifier for my... That's my shuffling. I just had to look at it then and I didn't feel... 
that was it so if it comes out again it comes out again doesn't it so let's see Blimey. well in this deck it's the princess of wands magical huh this is you The ones again, it's all about your creativity, your feeling, your emotion. So with that Ace of Cups wanting to come in there, this is what you end up like. So you do meet that frequency, guys. You really, really do. But there just seems to be a bit of work first with removing the trash, so to speak, out of your system to create all this abundance. It really is. Um, the Princess of Wands also is, it's being offered to you. Something's going to be offered to you. Um... And I do want to say it will be at a point where where you've put the work in. So you know when I said getting the trash out, that is the work that you're putting in yourself. And if you look here, there's a cute little beaver there giving it to her. And they are known for their hard work. They do not give up. They, they create amazing structures with what nature gives them and he's offering it to her so a structure of some sorts will be offered to you it could be structure of a conversation it could be a structure of this is how i feel it could be structure of a job a home whatever that is but the ones is it's not a completion but it is an, a, like an extension of your aura of your happiness of your well-being and there's there's so much here guys it is really really nice but i do feel what needs to go what is your ten of swords what is the cycle that is asking you the universe is asking you to end so you can embrace this energy here all starts with an ace what color did you think of you've got azure which is protect yourself isn't that beautiful so it goes back to when i was saying about putting yourself in the violet flame no one can touch your energy, really, uh, with low vibe energies, which is exactly what this is here. So protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your aura, protect who you are, protect your um, outlook, protect everything. Like it was a delicate flower. You wouldn't put a delicate flower out in the freezing cold because it wouldn't grow very well, would it? it in fact, it would die. So we don't want any part of you feeling frozen out, feeling like, you know, there's... Something that needs to be thought out, okay? Um, but there is just a really deeper meaning. A lot of you guys are going through transition. When you enter into a new karmic cycle and you're leaving an old one, however long that was, it can feel a little bit out of alignment, out of sorts, which is why the temperance is coming in for you. Guys that is your tuesday evening reading there's a lot here i appreciate that get with your writing get with your releasing be honest with yourself write it all down if it's 20 pages doesn't mean you've got loads of issues it means you're just offloading energy creating space for new energy to come in every moment is a new opportunity don't always think that bad things are going to happen don't always think everyone's got the better end of the deal you're not in a race with anyone else but yourself And that is that. Guys, you take care. Have a beautiful Tuesday evening, whatever you're doing. Um, I'm going to drink my tea and I'm reading an amazing book, which I will be sharing at some point. Okay. Um, knowledge is always power. It's key and it helps you expand your own awareness, um, which is something I like to do. You take care. Have a lovely evening, as I've said about 25,000 times. Take care now. Bye-bye.